Hi, today I'm going to discuss bear pausing. I care with you. And last month I suffered from bear palsy, and my biggest problem is my eye. I cannot close my eye, and which may result in eye complications, which include the eye always dry and redness, sometimes tearing and burning, and always have a sense of uh, falling apart. And we know that this uh, bell palsy is caused by the damage of the face facial nerve. And this is a seventh cranial nerve and the control this uh, forehead, eye, mouth, and expression. So in my case, and the big, big damage may be on surround eyes because I cannot close my eyes. And that's caused a number of uh, eye complications. And what I did is that uh, the treatment uh, is, uh, is pretty simple. Just uh, and during the days, I try use my hand to close my eye manually. And I also, I uh, during the evening, when I don't need use my eye to see anything, I use eye patch. Uh, to help my eye close, or sometimes I use the medical tape to close my eyes, and that's uh, depend on the situation, uh, depend on my need. I did this is all simple techniques is working for me, and also does some of uh, because the eyes always feel something so. And sometimes it's itching and sense burning. So in this case, you need some kind of solutions put into the eyes. That, and many different kind of solutions for your eye, and that include artificial tears or eye drops, and then you can also have eye gels and eye ointments. And in case you have very severe uh, uh, conditions you need to see your doctor and doctor may give you this uh, puncture plaque which may block this uh, eye duct to prevent the loss of uh, tears. The artificial tears is the easiest, easiest way to use. You can use anytime. So when you feel I am um, not comfortable you can drop uh, this uh, tears uh, into your eye. And the big problem for this uh, artificial teeth is that you can, because it's very easily evaporate, maybe one hour, two hours, and it just disappeared. So in this case, you may start to use this uh, eye gels. As eye gels is uh, thick than artificial tears. And so, when you use eye gels, make sure you're not going to use your use your eye vision, and because the eye gel may blur your vision for a few minutes, so don't use it when you need need to drive somewhere. And beside eye gels, the eye ointments, and that's would be. Uh, can also be used. Because that eye ointment is uh, is much thicker than eye gels, and so you usually don't use it during the day. And uh, most times you use do during the evening and uh, at bad times. So you can use it as because that this is a. Uh, this ointment will stay in your eye for a while, will, will blur your vision, so you cannot see uh, for some period of time. So be very, very careful. As I mentioned, after all this, if this is not working for you for dry eyes, after you use, use artificial teas and or use eye gels and eye ointment, and it's not working, then you can. You definitely need to see your doctor, and uh, and 
another way is that is you is you you can use puncture plug, and the puncture plug is small device that block tears dark drainage cells to prevent the tear uh, evaporate on from your eyes so and there are many different kind of puncture plaque you can ask your doctor which one is the best one for you and so this one is not uh, it's not of the count they need doc doctor's prescription and they also need a simple procedure to put this uh, puncture plaques in in your eye and today uh, my focus will be prevention and how to prevent your eye areas and during the bell passing or even during the normal times uh, you need to have keep your eye health and the first most important uh, prevention tip is to have regular eye exam and this is the best way to ensure the eye are in best health conditions and so the professional eye doctor and can catch any potential issue right away when they examine your eyes and that will provide you advice how to maintain your eye and maintain your eye health and the second thing you do is to make sure you have good nutrition so like you, all, all your body you need good enough antioxidant you vitamins and the minerals in order to maintain your uh, eye health you need to eat a lot of vegetables we know that carrot is one of the best one because it contain not vitamin A and vitamin A is very very important for your eye health and uh, if necessary you can take some supplement such a complex vitamin lutein zeaxin and the, all this is an essential component essential nutrition for your eyes make sure you have enough vitamin A lutein so and you need to drink a lot of fruit and it's important to keep your entire body hydrated this is one way to maintain your eye moisture and so the many different kind of drink even simple as water and fruits fruit juice sport drinks and smoothies and you need to keep fit and do some physical exercise and uh, we know that the exercise will enhance circulation of blood and oxygen flow to your eyes and that can help decrease your eye dry eyes direct also need exercise to prevent some uh, chronic diseases such as diabetes and high blood pressure uh, pressure we know that diabetes high blood pressure and all kind of chronic diseases uh, have impact on your eye so to prevent such kind of chronic disease will enhance your eye health you definitely need to have enough sleep and don't get tired your eye can be more easy to drain and feel gritty and dry you need good amount of sleep can decrease eye tired eye and also to increase eye health so you I need to, re, to be relaxed in order for your eye to recover and you need to protect your eyes from sun and wear glasses with uh, UV, UV protection when you you are in outside in the sun and which would keep the harmful rays from damage your eye tissue and now this all of us are sitting in front of us uh, computer screens uh, 
a lot of times. And so we need to, if we spend times looking at screen, such a computer or smartphone, we need to take a 20, 20, 20 news. That means you need look 20 feet away every 20 minutes for 20 seconds. So that to help you prevent digital, digital eye stream, which can cause eye fatigue, headache, neck tension, and these decreased vision. And don't smoke. And if you are smoking, try to quit because we know the smoking can increase the sick of many physical health areas. That smoking can even damage optic nerve, nerve and can cause other eye problems such as macular degeneration, cataract, and all this will have a negative impact on your vision or your eye health. And you need to practice good hygiene. I need to be very, very clean. Clean one of the cleanest body, organ in your body. So wash your hand, face thoroughly and regularly. Keep cosmetics and chemicals out of your eye. If you wear contacts, clean and store them properly. And you also need to have uh, uh, exercise your, your, your eyes. Uh, massage your eyes and sur surround area to relieve your eye strain. If you go to search how to massage your eyes or how to do eye movement, you can find a lot of such information. But select one and the one you feel best and best for you. So you need to do. Uh, if you want some advice, you can easily uh, tell me. Uh, I do exercise every. I exercise every day. Not only. Almost every hour, I do a simple uh, eye massage. Every single time after massage, I feel very comfortable. Uh, so. That's all for today. So I just give a brief uh, summary what I'm talking about today. So about this bell palsy and eye care. We know bell palsy palsy cause and uh, difficult to close my eyes and and the resulting eye complications uh, such as eye, dry eyes, eye redness, tearing, burning, and for body sensation. So it's very important to you to have a holistic approach to take good care of your eyes and prevent your eye uh, damage. Just keep your eye health. And that's the talk for the day. And I wish to see you in my next video. And see you.